Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com here today for Teach Me Tuesday. It is my first weekly, well, first of the week, weekly Facebook Lives. Um, I broadcast here twice a week, every week on Tuesday and Thursday, and Tuesday is Teach Me Tuesday. Hello, Simone. I'm glad you're here. I haven't seen you in a while. Hello, Melissa. So I'm happy to be here with you today. We are going to delve into those Stampin' Pastels, those pastel chalks again. So, hey, Cheryl, it's good to see you. So we have a technique we're going to look at today. We're gonna to have lots of fun with the uh, chalks, with the pastels. Um, yeah, I wanna call them pastel chalks, but I think that Stampin' Up! is calling them pastels. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. Let me see what it says on the box. Soft pastels. Hey, Sarah. I'm glad to see you here today. So we are um, going to delve into another way to work with the pastels, the soft pastels. You know, pastels are a medium that artists use. Uh, many of us used them when we were kids in art class. These are definitely um, for grown-ups in the sense that you can get some really elegant looks. You can get some really cool technique looks with them. Not to say kids can't play with them because they can. And one of the things I love about the chalks is that they're very approachable. So no matter what level of crafting experience you've had, like zero, or if you're a hardcore crafter, you can have a lot of fun with these. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera down and then tap into some uh, comments. I can see people commenting, but I can't if I, I can't read them and see you at the same time. So, okay, and Linda's here. Hey, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's bring the camera down and see what we're going to get to today. It is a crazy busy week for me because it is my crafting retreat starts Thursday. And these are full weekend retreats that I host along with Cheryl Peary. And uh, we're super excited, but there's a lot to do. And I can't seem to, okay, let's see. That's gonna be better. I'm trying to get this, okay, I'm getting there. Okay. Well, Diane Ebling, hello, hello. And Gail is here, and Laura, Cheryl, I'm glad you're uh, doing this on your lunch break. Simone, sorry you've been working crazy hours. That is uh, no fun, but uh, hey, Susan, I'm glad you're here. Okay, we're gonna jump in. You know, we are in the Designer Series paper special that Stampin' Up! is running, and there's uh, nine different papers on special. They're 15% off. This is the one I'm gonna feature today. So, um, I think I will wait on showing you this. Um, until later, but I will show you briefly what we had covered a couple weeks ago. This was my first uh, foray into the chalk markers here on Facebook Live. So I was doing these cards, and we did these with the, um, what's it called? Artistically Inked. I always get the uh, stamp set name mixed up on that. Am I too far down or am I too far up? I think I'm too far. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Um, so these are done with the pastel, soft pastels. And let me just show you a couple of things I really like about the pastels. So we're going to use them again today. When I did these, I was applying them with sponge daubers. So we're going to do things a little bit different today and get a little different look. Um, a couple of things I really like about these uh, pastels is... I'm getting a lot of shadow here. Let's see what I can do. I think maybe if I do that. Nope, that gives me more shadow. Let's see. Ha, huh, I think it's a little less. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Okay. Here is the Soft Pastels assortment. Look at the small footprint they take up in your space. These are easy to pop into a drawer, to put up on a bookshelf, to put into a box with your uh, stamping supplies. And, hey, Jess, I'm glad you're here, and Jackie. Um, but look at all the nice colors that you have. So you get nine, I think it's what? Yeah, it's three, no, it's eight colors for $9. I can't I always mix up the nine and the eight. It's eight different colors, and they're only $9. 
So, and they're gonna tell you here that you get all of these nice Stampin' Up colors. So you get Coastal Gabbana, you get Daffodil Delight, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Poppy Parade. So yes, Athena, I am exactly going to teach you how to use them. They're super fun to use. So what we're gonna do today, before we um, add some designer series paper, we're going to start by creating just um, our focal piece. And we're gonna do that with these chalk markers. I am going to use my silicone mat. I like to use this because it's washable and it's super easy to, um, to use for this. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna be using the Hydrangea Haven stamp set. And this is, um, I wanna give a different look. You know, sometimes when we've had a stamp set that was part of a suite, once like the designer series paper that went with this and everything, once the paper's gone, it's like, well, what do I do now? Because that paper retired. But there's a lot of fun things we can still do with this. Hey, Velma and Crystal, welcome. And welcome, Corinne. Great uh, participation here today. Lots of folks joining us. So what I'm gonna do is I am using a photopolymer stamp set. So I'm putting the stamp mat underneath me, the little piercing mat. And this is where I'm going to create a little paint palette. And I'm going to be using Versamark ink. And let's start, first of all, with the ink. So I'm going to take my, my uh, hydrangea stamp, and I'm actually going to stamp it in Gorgeous Grape. In fact, I think I might do two side by side so we can compare. Because I think comparison is, when you're doing something like this, is a good thing, and that way you can kind of see it instead of me telling you about it. So there is one done with the Gorgeous Grape ink. Hey, Marlene, welcome. And then we are going to do another one. Let me grab a chamois. Clean this gently. Uh, let's do another one in Tuxedo Black, just to kind of see the difference. The black is obviously gonna be a little bit bolder um, background for our color, but let's try them both and see which one we like the best. So this is that beautiful big um, hydrangea stamp. Hydrangeas are actually just a great uh, flower year round. Although they grow mainly in the spring and the summer and the fall, not really a winter flower, um, but when they're dried, they're kind of all year. So you can see there's a subtle difference here between the black and the um, gorgeous grape. Now, we're gonna take this stamp here that you would typically add your color with. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that with the Versamark ink. Now, Versamark is what we use a lot of times when we are doing any kind of um, heat embossing. But there's a lot of other fun things you can do with your uh, Versamark. So let's ink this up. Hey, Vivian, welcome, welcome from sunny Maine. I think you guys have been getting some hot weather up there, haven't you? A little unseasonal hot for you. I think you have all of our heat this year because we have unseasonally cool, which I am absolutely rejoicing in. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp both of these while I have my stamp out. Now, you can't see that because it's clear ink. If you're, if you're using this on colored cardstock, you can see it because it gives a watermark effect. But for this, it's just going to be clear, but it's going to provide a medium which I can add my ink, my, not my ink, my pastel chalks to and see how we get on with those. Now, what I'm gonna do is I want to use Gorgeous Grape, but I also want to blend. So last time I did this, I was using mainly one color and I wanna blend my colors today. So let me grab, I'm just going to grab a bone folder. There's a number of things you can use here to shave these, but I'm just going to use a bone folder and I'm going to just scrape this and make myself a little pool of this gorgeous grape pastel chalk. 
Now today, I'm just taking some things out of my medicine chest. I'm just taking ordinary cotton balls, and I've taken also a couple of Q-tips. So where I'm going to do, what I'm gonna do is add some color. And if I want a large sweep of color, I can just add that with my cotton ball right here. And I'm just gonna do little circular motions. And look how that um, Versamark is grabbing hold of my purple, this is Gorgeous Grape, and you can see where that's where my stamp was, and it's picking that up. And the Gorgeous Grape is really pretty here, but watch what's gonna happen when I take this specific point. Now, I'm gonna use this directly, the chalk directly on here, and I'm just going to get it going a little bit, and I'm just going to scrub that on there. Now, this doesn't look very good, does it? But watch. Now, I can make that a more purpley blue, or a more bluey purple, I should say. And that is going to blend those colors out. I can add a little bit more purple here and just play with it and just enjoy it and just have fun with it. And then I get a real bluey purple, which is oftentimes what you see when you are looking at hydrangeas. They oftentimes have that real um, bluey purple. So anytime you see like some little bits there that you, you can just go back in. Now I can come back over here and pick up a little bit, but you get a softer look. So what I'm trying to show you is number one, that you can blend the colors. And number two, that you get a softer look when you're using the little paint palette and you get a dark, um, a darker look when you go directly, put your chalk directly to the paper. Now it looks a little bit messy right now, but give it a minute and we'll see. Let's take a little bit of the excess off by just using the clean side of my, um, my um, what do you call it, cotton ball. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just, let's go ahead and add the uh, color for the leaves before we do the one. This is the one with the black ink. The one with the purple ink is gonna look a little bit different. So let's just kind of see how we get on here. So let's add the Versamark to our leaves and our stem and line it up pretty good, voila. And now I am going to use a little bit of the Mossy Meadow. And you see how you can just kind of keep your paint palette here. I'm not too fussed about things that are kind of encroaching on each other. And then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Granny Apple Green. Now this time, because these are much smaller areas, I'm actually going to use my Q-tip. And I'm just gonna pick some of this up and give a soft little wash to my leaves. Now, one of the things I like here is, of course, with this being a Q-tip, I can just throw this away when I'm done. I don't have to have any special supplies for this. And that's a pretty nice look. If I wanna brighten things up, I can pull in a little bit of this Granny Apple Green, and it's gonna give me a, a more yellowy green, and it's gonna brighten up those leaves because Mossy Meadow is quite a deep color. So now I'm just brightening up those leaves a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back into the mossy meadow and just pull a little bit of that in for my stem. Now I'm actually going to cut this out with my dies, but before I do that, let's do another one side by side. And this one is with the gorgeous grape. Did I already, I think I already, did I already stamp that? I think I did. Yes, I did. I see it just barely there. Oh yeah, see how it's grabbing that ink? So now, this has, I think, in many ways, when you do the tone on tone here, you see how when you had the black coming through, it makes it a bit dark? And when you have, um, 
Thank you, Valerie. Um, when you have the purple on the purple, it, it doesn't have, um, it's not quite so dark, even when I'm adding just the purple. Now, let's go ahead and add a little bit of this blue. I'm adding a smaller amount of it this time. Got a little bit crazy with it last time. But you see how that picks up the shades so that you have the shades of the blue and the purple on there together. And you wouldn't think that Pacific Point would do that, but it actually is really effective with the gorgeous grape to give you that really pretty bluey purple. And you can see how much lighter it is with the purple ink versus the black ink. Now you'll find the same thing is true when I'm doing the leaves. So let's go in with the leaves. We'll ink up this. And you can see that this comes together really quickly, gives you the ability to really um, add the kind of shades that you want, whether you want it to be just a straight purple, if you want it to be a little bit more bluey. Uh, you could even add, let's try a little bit of this on the other one, um, a little bit of this Poppy Parade. If you wanted to add a little bit of red, because you know, you do see, um, you do see the uh, hydrangeas that have the pinks and the kind of burgundies in them. And of course, truth be told, when you're creating a little piece of art like this, it doesn't have to exactly match nature. I mean, you can have them any color you want. And of course, even when you go to a um, florist or something, oftentimes they dye flowers and all kinds of things. So, you know, you can have a little artistic license. Okay, so I'm kind of liking, this is really soft. Um, if I add a little bit of the Granny Apple Green, kind of brighten that up just a wee bit. But you can see how that has a much softer look than when you have the black. And even though you wouldn't think you have a purple leaf, it, uh, it kind of works with this. So let's just bring a little bit more of that green. Now, I'm gonna take a clean um, cotton ball and just wipe it. And I'm gonna take this clean cotton ball over here and wipe off any excess. You know, that got a little bit dark there, didn't it? Let's see if we can lift that off of there. Too much of a good thing. That looks good now, it looks better. Um, just for sake of the camera, let's see what happens if we add a little bit of red here. Just a little bit. Oh, it's kind of nice. See how that gives you a little bit of that kind of pinky, rosy look? So you could even add a little bit of that. Let's try it over here. Let's see. Hmm, it's actually quite nice. It's looking a little bit pinky. That gave me a lot of different shades there, which is what I was after. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my little piece, my little art piece that I've done with all of my uh, chalk markers. And um, you can do a couple of different things with your um, little paint palette here. You can just run this under water, and with this much ink, that's what I recommend, or not ink, I keep wanting to call it ink, it's chalk. Um, the other thing you can do is you can just take a baby wipe and run it over there if you're not near a sink. But um, I guess the main thing I'm wanting you to do is just to play with it and to see the kinds of shadows or shades that you can get, different colors by blending the colors. And that you can do that if you don't have like dedicated sponge daubers to this. You can actually get a lot of uh, good results just by using your ordinary things from your household, and that being um, cotton balls and Q-tips. So this is ready to just be tucked away. And I think that's a pretty nifty way to have eight colors right at your fingertips, ready to go. So let's see what we can do to put all of this together and really make it awesome. What I'm going to pair this with is this set of designer series paper. This is the Pansy Petals. 
And I was looking at these different designer papers and I thought, well, there's purples here and there's greens here. So let me go with this and let's see what we can do. Because I had promised you that this month I was going to feature one of the sets of designer series paper at every single Facebook Live. So let me clear my space here a little bit. And I need just my little greeting stamp just to review that this particular stamp set, Hydrangea Haven has a ton of stamps. So these are smaller on the front than they actually are. Look how large and look how many nice greetings you have. So we're going to use one of those. Let me flip this paper over so I get a clean, clean surface with which to work. And I am going to get my Big Boss and we are going to cut out our hydrangeas and see where we can go with them. If we layer them up and do some fun things. Okay. And I'll put the dice right here. And where are my plates? organizing a few things so trying to find where I'm keeping things now I'm almost ready to do a studio tour with you guys so I've been working hard on getting things tidy enough to where I feel like I could go on camera and not be totally embarrassed um, so here's one two three <laughs> okay I have my thin dye adapter there and there is my hydrangea I think you guys can see that Let's put that right like so. And that is going to allow my hydrangea to just be totally cut down, which I think is what I want. We'll see once we do it if what's in my head is going to actually work. Now you're imagining something and then you're like, Okay, once you start working with it, it's like, yeah, I think that's a little bit too much. So, let's go here and cut this one out as well. And these dies, you know, they just, they're so easy to use. And you see how nicely they just cut right into, um, cut off all the edges that I really don't want. Give me a nice little, well, my daddy used to say you have to hold your mouth right. And that's kind of the way that is to line that up. Okay, here we go. Everybody still with me? Okay, here we go. Come on, baby. Here, there we go. The uh, Big Boss is so smooth and so easy to use. It is a real dream to work with. One more thing I need to do while I have this out is I need to cut a little tag. So let me grab this die, this little teeny one. And do I have a scrap here? No, I do not. Grab one. use. So here's this little tiny die. Whoopsie. Just knock the camera. Let's do that one. Hey, Laura, I'm glad you just let me know you're still here because sometimes I can't tell if it means that Facebook is hanging me, hanging me up, or if that's actually people are still there. And you're just being quiet. You're probably eating lunch having a snack, stamping while I'm stamping, hopefully not driving a car. <laughs> okay, so I've got a couple of different purples here and we'll see what we like the best. So while I have my Big Boss out, we've got those punched out, that cute little stitch tag. It's a nice size. So there are my stamps and dies. Put Big Boss away, which 
it doesn't take a lot for me to impress myself, but you know, when I actually put something away, it's a banner day. <laughs> Darlene's here working in my studio and she's laughing because she knows how true that is. Okay, so here's my elements that I've got. So I have a couple of these hydrangeas and a couple of tags. Now, let's see what we're going to do. I think, I think my hands are okay. I have a couple of basic white card bases. Let's just move these over a wee bit. Get rid of the, all of the um, scraps. So I better get a, you know what? Let me just pull out over here. I'm gonna grab a, I'm gonna grab a baby wipe because my fingers, think have a little bit of chalk on them and remember I was scraping that chalk off with my bone folder I want to make sure I don't transfer that to my basic white cardstock so oh yay Gail thank you that you're enjoying watching that makes me feel good okay draw that off just use my shorts okay here we go basic white here and we'll just do these side by side I think we'll use both of these and they'll just be different looks and in keeping with that, I cut two pieces of this cardstock or this designer paper, and I'm just going to use one of each because look how cute that's going to look. So we'll see. That's going to have another layer under it. We'll see where we're going. So let's go ahead and put this down. I think, let's see. Did I even bring any ribbon over here? Oh, I did. Okay, folks, let's see. Let's just get all these pieces together before we start sticking anything down. Because that's when I get in trouble is when I start sticking things down before I'm ready. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do this. Now, is that too busy? It's a lot of pattern there. Or that's a little better because it stands out more. Now let's see what else we can do here. We could do this. It's a little bit much. I don't think we need that. Let's see if we need it over here. Let's try this one and see. That way, there it kind of stands out. Now, let's see. What do we think? Or, oh, I think that's better. I think it doesn't need that little piece under there. So let's see over here. What do we think? Oh, I kind of like the more purple. I think this, I think this is too much. So I would love to hear what you have to say about that. Um, I do have a couple of these little tags. Oh, I think we're gonna need that color. This is gonna not show up at all, so I may need to cut another one of those. And let's see, do we want a little bit of ribbon here? I could use this, that looks really pretty. I like that shine. It's wide, but this stuff ties nicely, really nicely. I've been using it for some projects for our retreat. Oh, this is really pretty too. Maybe we'll use this one. Oh, I don't know. We'll use one on each. So we'll kind of figure out which one is going to get which ribbon and go from there. I like them both. I like the shine of this one, but I like this one too. I will say, you know, let's just kind of keep going with this. I wonder how it would look. Since this is plain cardstock here, you were liking the orange underneath there. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go with that on one of these, Twyla. Because this seems a little bit plain under here. So it's either gonna have to have some stamping on it or it's gonna have to have some, we could run it through an embossing folder. I'm gonna need another one of these. So maybe since I'm gonna have to bring the big boss out again anyway, let's just see if maybe an embossing folder would help that. There's those new polka dots. That would be kind of cute. The checks and dots. There's the checks. I could use either the checks or dots. Let's see. What else would look cute there? Hmm. 
Meadow Moments. That would look cute too. I like that. And the ornate floral. Man, that's really a lot of flowers. That might be a little bit too much. Whoops. Oh, now there's that new one. That might look kind of cool too. Pretty flowers. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna get Big Boss out and I'm gonna see if anybody weighs in on that while I'm getting Big Boss out. Put my designer series paper away, my little, hello, Terry Lynn. Oh, now the dainty diamonds. I don't actually have that out, Valerie. So I'm kind of looking at pretty flowers. I'm looking at meadow moments. I'm looking at checks or dots. Yeah, I think so. So, Tell me which one of those four you want me to try, and I will get Big Boss back out because we got to cut another one of those little tags, and we'll see. All of these have a fair bit of pattern, but I think that's kind of going to work here. I know that with menswear, you know, you don't want to have more than three patterns. So, you know, if you're helping your husband. Uh, have a nice outfit, you know, if he has a, uh, three patterns is the absolute limit. So if you have, if you have a pattern in your jacket and then you have a pattern in your shirt and then you have a pattern in your tie, you're like, whoa, that's a lot of patterns. Okay, Meadow Moments is, looks like the um, embossing folder of choice. I'm getting a couple of votes and I do like this you know what I like about this is I like those little butterflies in there and I like the fact that it's kind of an open pattern it's not too tight now let's see speaking of tight let's get that in there so it's okay I don't need that now do I have the right plates over here for that let's see I think I do there we go I think I need my other plate over here. Let's see, is this gonna go? Yep, that's it. Second guess myself. I need to have all my plates over here. Hey Corinne, I didn't even think I saw you be in here. Hello, hello. Oh, look at there. Isn't that a sweet look? I like that a lot. Good call. Yeah, sometimes, you know, if you're doing flowers, just add more flowers. I mean, if you think about when you're doing a, a bouquet um, and it needs a little something, it probably needs another flower. <laughs> Maybe just a different flower. Maybe, it's, you know, a contrasting flower. So, I like that. So, let's... Oh, and I forgot to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to do that. Oh, oh. Oh, candy, come on. Okay, let's just see. This is gonna go here, and this is gonna go here. I think I'm gonna have to get my big boss back out again. Okay, let's do concentrate. If I I'm seriously have trouble talking and chewing gum, so I really have problems when I start yakking. Okay. going over here. Grab my silicone mat to get that going. Now what I like to do on this is just to run it all the way around and then I'm going to run this right across like so. Look how pretty those colors are together. Isn't that lovely? And then what you can do is if you're a little bit concerned you just go back over that. Make sure it's really really stuck down. Except that. <laughs> Helps if you get it straight, Candy. There we go. There we go. Okay. Look how pretty those colors are. They look summery, springy, summery. All kind of spans the time there. Now, what I'm gonna do is grab some dimensionals. Of course, they're not where they should be. Like I said, we are right. Creative Escape starts Thursday. I'm leaving my house at 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. My helper's coming at 8 o'clock to help me load. 
hopefully leaving here at 8.30, be at the hotel by nine o'clock at the latest, start setting up. Because for Creative Escape, which is where I will be broadcasting live from on Thursday for Facebook Live, um, we are at the Drury Plaza Hotel. And um, I bring my stamps and my inks and my dyes and a couple of die cutting machines so that my guests don't have to bring all of that with them unless they are so inclined. So they'll end up not having to bring quite so much. Having said that, you should see some of these ladies, it ends up looking like they're moving in. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, Darlene is, is giggling over there because she is one of those people who brings like carts of stuff. Uh, but you know, it's you're gonna be settled in for the whole weekend just with a bunch of your friends. And if you don't know anybody, you'll have a ton of friends before you leave at the weekend. We do creative challenges every day. And um, that just acts as a creative prompt for you. And um, we also do, uh, with the creative challenges, we do a prize. So we, we do blind judging at nine o'clock every night. You have paper ballots and we have three categories. We have um, 3D card and scrapbook categories. And it is a lot of fun. So like one of the creative prompts might be something like, um, I think one of them, we had one one time that was called Rainy Day Blues. So you could, you could use that with, you could do something in any shades of blue. You could do stamp sets that had rain. You could do, um, here. you could do all kinds of, just kind of be creative and, and use that as a creative prompt. Now, look what's gonna happen. Now you can see where I added that pink in. It wasn't pink, it was Poppy Parade, but you can see how that really, really comes to light when you add the wink of Stella. I'm kind of liking this, ladies. I hope you guys are. Tell me what you think. Uh, we are going to add a little bit more of that ribbon, I think. Maybe a little ribbon knot on the flower. I'm liking it. You know, I'm not even sure I need a greeting on this. Sometimes it's okay to just have a pretty note card with anything on the outside to just have a pretty card. I'm thinking, oh, look at there. I do like that little because it kind of looks like it kind of uh, is running through that entire thing, uh, that entire layer. I need a mini glue dot right here. And then I gotta get this other one finished really quick because I've yacked too much and no, I'm actually still okay on time. I'm gonna trim this down. Just a little bow there, just a little knot. Now, I pulled out a couple of different things here. I think these are those little raindrop looking things. These are those little epoxies. And I think these clear ones might be just the ticket because of all the shine on that ribbon. So let me grab a Pekatool. Let's see if we can make some little dew drops on that flower. So there are some of these, let me grab these. They come in a package like this. I think they're about $9. And some of them are like little raindrops and some of them are little circles. And you get the silver ones and you get the clear ones. So I think these little clear ones, and I think I want to use the little raindrop ones because then it just gives that really bit little subtle shine. Then it looks like, see how subtle that is? And with that wink of Stella on there, little bits of shine that when you hold it up into the light, it catches the light. And I think that's what's gonna be really nice on this card. It's just sometimes less is more. And sometimes more is more. You just kind of have to play with it and see. And I appreciate you guys being on here with me to play with me and see what we could come up with. 
you know what? Now that I'm looking at these, these are little, these are little um, white diamonds. And then these are raindrops because I actually got a diamond in there and I meant to get a raindrop. So there's actually three different shapes on here, which I didn't realize. I think I need new putty on here. Oh, look at there. Right on the leaf. So now I've got these little raindrops on here, these little dew drops. And I do like them. Okay, so I think we're there. I think we're there. So, hey, Gerilyn, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, the bow on there, yeah, really kind of brings just subtle shine here, subtle shine here, little bits of um, dew drops there. And that's it. I'm not even gonna put a greeting on there because, see, I think that would just be a little bit much. But let's see if we can put a greeting on this one. Let's try this one out and see how we're gonna get on. So once again, we are going to put our seal all the way around, go all the way around the edge, and then, this is my little saving time trick, we'll go here with the ribbon right across the center-ish, and tuck that in, and then that is going to go, you don't really want to put that dimensional backing <laughs> on the back, not necessary. Let's see, that is there. Okay, that's good. Now, this time we're gonna pop this up on dimensionals instead of using our, uh, on this piece, we used um, a piece of cardstock that was run through on an embossing folder. This time we're gonna use a contrasting piece of the same designer series paper. And look how that coral really helps set off that purple. These are beautiful, beautiful colors. And the um, what really helps is the contrast. I think that, you know, when you have all of the, we used a lot of purple. So having that little bit of Calypso coral really kind of helps the purples stand out. You can get too much of a good thing. And it all kind of starts muddling together. So this way, we have something to set off all those purples. I think this was a really good call, Twyla. I'm glad you said that. So this time, I'm going to pop this up as well. So notice here, I popped up the piece, the, the embossed layer here, and then I also popped up the flower so that it really stands up. But it's not so much that it's gonna not go through the mail with a single stamp. So what do y'all think about the shades that we got on these, um, on our hydrangeas using those chalks? You know, they're super fun to use. And like I said, for $9, you really, the price point is very there. I think they're also, they're such a nice, um, they're in such a nice little box and they're such a good price point that they make a nice gift for a crafty friend that you could easily just wrap that up. You could even put some pretty designer series paper around it because we've got this great sale going on. And you would have a lovely gift for a crafty friend. So that is going to go like so. And then let's just follow suit again and let's add some Wink of Stella. It really, you know, when you add the Wink of Stella here, it really does bring out all of the, um, this is beginning to go on me. It really brings out all the different shades that uh, were brought about by my chalks. Really kind of brings them out where you can see them. I don't know if that's coming through on the camera. Hey, Jill, I'm glad you're here. And Kathy, welcome. So we are just finishing up. I think I am gonna add the tag on this one, but we'll see. Let's add our ribbon, just like we did on the other one. Um, here we go. So here is our card number one, and here is card number two. Let's see what we think. Let's add, this is the Gorgeous Grape Sheer Ribbon. It ties so nicely. It's very delicate, very sheer. And I think it's just the ticket that we're looking for here. I think I rhymed and didn't mean to, but it's kind of fun when that happens. 
Let's have the tails going up, or do we want the tails going down? I think they'll go down, it's gonna be better. Let's put this on with a mini glue dot. And I'm hoping that I've inspired you to not only get some of these chalks, but to play with them and have fun with them. Now, do we want this little greeting on there or is it a little bit too much? I almost think it's too much. I almost think I need to just leave them as they are. So I will definitely um, wait for somebody to weigh in on that and I will add some of the little raindrops like we did on the other card. And again, these are the epoxy. Um, epoxy dot shapes, something like that. Um, I did the clear ones here. I think I'm, see that silver is just a little bit strong. This is very soft colors. So I think we're gonna go with the clear. Yeah, it's too much, isn't it, Melissa? We're just gonna leave them be. Not every card has to have a greeting on the outside. We can wait and do that on the inside. And we could do hydrangeas on the inside and all kinds of fun things, which I will do off camera because I'm running out of time today. Okay, let's get some of these little raindrops going here. Oh, now you see that? Look how pretty. Pretty little raindrops coming down. And we will just have them. Little drops of rain coming down. And we want them on the dark. See how when they're on something dark, how they, the shine really kind of stands out. So I think we're there. I think we are there. And I think these are so much prettier in real life as this oftentimes the case. So I don't know, when I'm done and I actually do a photograph, hopefully it will show better how pretty. Let me grab my other wing of Stella. I think the wing of Stella is just about dry. We do kind of get a little bit here around the edges. The wing of Stella really, uh, that was kind of a, a happy little uh, discovery that I made. It really caused the different shades of the chalks to come to the fore and um, really show up. So I'm super happy with these. And hey, Jackie, I'm, I'm glad you're liking these. So that is it for today. This was Teach Me Tuesday, and we are learning how to blend colors using our Stampin' Pastel Chalks. And here they are. Soft Pastel Assortment. I think it's definitely something you wanna to add to your next order. I do have a host code. So if you uh, need to place an order, you can do that with me and use your host code and you will get gifts. Um, I do free tutorial gifts for every size order and then um, some little product gifts when your order is, uh, as your order gets larger. So everybody gets something though when you shop with my host code. So this is Teach Me Tuesday, soft pastels assortment. Two different looks using the exact same designer series paper. We just flipped it over, used another piece of the same set here and used our Hydrangea Haven, I think. Yeah, Hydrangea Haven is the stamp set with coordinating dies. So that is it for today. I'm going to love you. Are you there? Oh, live video interrupted. You know why I interrupted? Because sometimes when I grab my phone in here, it like sets off that crazy alarm. Like, do you want to put out an SOS signal? No, I do not. Um, so I had to stop that. Um, I'm not in trouble. I'm actually, I couldn't, be, I couldn't get myself in trouble really easily here, but that's not what that was. Um, I am going to love you and leave you. I will be here Thursday. I will be here live on Thursday with uh, Simple and Stepped Up Stamping. We will do a quick stamping project on Thursday and uh, featuring some of the designer series paper that's in the sale. I will also be doing a little tour of our Creative Escape. And so I think you'll have fun, get to say hi to some of the ladies that are already there on Thursday. And um, that is it for today. Don't forget, the one thing I forgot to mention, tomorrow is the last day to sign up for my, here we go, bird class. 
Garden Bird Houses. Tomorrow is the last day to sign up for this eight card class. Super fun, eight cards, um, lots of goodies with it, and um, it is my cards with a twist class. That is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it and appreciate your support so much. Be sure to share my video. That helps me tremendously. And don't forget to tune in on Thursday. I'll see you then. Take care and God bless.